Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share how I made this cute little cake slice plush keychain, which I made out of felt as a part of my sweet treat week. So this is upload number five from the week. Basically, it's just a week where I'm doing DIYs based around some sweet foods, such as like cakes and stuff. I thought I needed to do an actual cake. And I thought after I made that um, paper squishy last week or the week before, I don't know when it was it might be the week before that i thought i needed to make a little plush i found some scrap pieces of felt in my um like craft rolls i thought actually that might make the perfect little cake so i decided to give it a go and it's turned out so cute so if you do end up making this where you're stuck at home staying inside you know all of that then be sure to tag me on instagram i would love to repost you on my stories and yeah by the way, also, if you would like to hit that subscribe button, I'd love to have you on my channel for the long time. Um, yeah, cute DIYs this week, and then I've got some really excited ones coming next week, so you don't want to miss those. So yeah, I'm just going to get stuck straight on into how I made this little cake slice plushie. So the materials I used to make this plush were just some wool felt scraps that I had left over from just previous projects. I had a light pink, a fuchsia colour and then this small bit of beige which actually inspired me to make this cake plush. So I cut a triangle like shape with a rectangle kind of on the end. Um, no pattern or anything, I just kind of winged it and cut it with my scissors and then I kind of made everything to like fit that. So if you're making your plush you want to make sure that these rectangle bits in the cake colour are the same kind of length as each side of the triangle and the depth that you want them to be are the same. So to add decoration to mine I took the fuchsia colour and I used a scallop edge scissors and cut a strip with that and then cut a straight edge so I was able to stick those on and you know make the filling inside of my cake. So the glue that I used is the Fabri-Tac premium fabric glue. I would honestly recommend using this for so many different things it's perfect for squishy making and plushy making as well so definitely a craft essential so what i did was i sewed the two pieces like the rectangle pieces to each side of the triangle just using a pink needle and thread you can glue this again with the fabric glue if you want to but i like hand stitching i just prefer stitching so i just stitched mine I then stitched the kind of like size where the two rectangles met at the point down just with a beige coloured um, thread as well just to kind of match and kind of, I don't know, disguise it a little bit. I then flipped the triangle shape upside down and cut a final triangle out of the beige colour just to match those two side pieces and I stitched that into place starting with the point first to make sure that it all met up just right. Once I had got both sides of the triangle down, I was then able to kind of stuff my shape because it's kind of like a little triangle bag. So I stuffed that with a little bit of toy stuff in, just small bits at a time, making sure to get it really in the point and just really compact in there. And once that was done, I was then able to stitch the shape up. So I started from the top corner of like the pink icing, went down one side of the rectangle along the long side. And then when it got to the kind of other side I was then able to trim it down and make sure that it all fit nicely so I trimmed it squashed it around a little bit sewed a little bit more trimmed it just to make sure that it was nice and neat this wouldn't happen if you had a pattern but obviously I didn't so I just made it up on the spot but that is a great kind of thing about ha not having a pattern doing it yourself you could just trim it to make it look the best as you can I thought the top icing bit looked a little bit plain so I just did a few little stitches across there to make it gather up a little bit. I don't know what type of stitch you would call this but I just put a few little tacks in, pulled it kind of as tight as I could and then secured that down just to make this little like ridge across the top. I then attached a keychain to the middle of the back icing piece because this is the way that I wanted my cake slice to kind of hang. You can obviously add it to whatever way you want your cake slice to hang but I wanted it just there because I thought that that would be the best way to capture the size and the face that I was going to be putting on it. So to put on the face and the extra details, I just used acrylic paint. You can use fabric paint for this, but I find acrylic paint works just fine on wool felt anyway. So 
I just squeezed out some different acrylic paints onto an old scrap piece of cardboard which is something I've been using recently. I just squeeze them all out on there then once I'm you know done with it just put it in the bin and then it saves me from using loads of paint palettes. So I painted on the face using the black to begin with and then used a fuchsia, a green and a kind of like pastel blue colour just to paint on some sprinkles. I put the sprinkles on the top and the sides and once all of that had dried I then went back in with a second layer of details to paint the inside of the mouth, the highlight to the eyes and then the blush either side of the eyes to make the face that I usually make on my squishies and plushies. For the final step I just added a satin ribbon bow in this fuchsia colour to tie it all together so I just tied that into the loop on the keychain, cut the ends off and then sealed them in with a lighter to stop them from fraying. Okay so I've just tied a bow on here with some satin ribbon and I've just cut off the ends, sealed them in with a little bit of a lighter and I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I was going to add a few little beads or something on there but I think I'm just going to leave it there. So this is what the plushie has turned out like. I think it is so looking cute. Like... I just love this. I just used some scraps that I had. I looked at them and thought, what can I make out of these little bits of felt? And I'm so glad that I chose to do this cake because I think it's so cute. And I think I might actually be attaching this to my little mini pink backpack that I've got recently. Just in love with that. That needs a new keychain on it. And I think that this one here will be perfect. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you end up recreating this, then be sure to tag me on Instagram. I will repost you on my stories as usual. Just make sure to actually tag me in it so I can repost it. And yeah, that way I will add you to my highlights and hopefully help your Instagram account out a little bit more. So yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow for another DIY. Bye.